any parent would worry, how do I put food on the table uh, for my child? We've had other circumstances throughout our control, other circumstances of our family. Natasha lost a job, two, two children. They Their needs come first, regardless, always. And, you know, you, you have the pressure of going, what, what can I have maybe £15 in your pocket and you've got three days? Well, that's, that's not an awful lot when you need breakfast, lunch and dinner. And maybe also whenever you've, you're, you're providing for lockdown, schools are off, things like this. Those other things make it even harder. Food poverty is a fact of life for a growing number of people in Northern Ireland. Accessing an adequate and nutritious diet and being able to enjoy the type of social participation associated with food that so many of us take for granted, like having tea and biscuits for a visitor, is a constant struggle or simply not achievable for a large number of low-income households. The reality is that these households often face a stark choice between hating or eating and the COVID-19 pandemic has brought added pressures. Whilst some households are now experiencing food poverty for the first time, others who may normally have found things hard to begin with have been pushed further into difficulties. My name's Pastor Tony Meehan. Uh, I'm an Elam minister. I work across the communities of the Shankill and the Falls Road, and I manage the West Belfast Food Bank in Conway Mill. Anyone can end up having to use a, a food bank. So most people presume it's only the homeless or people on benefits. Uh, the past few years, we've noticed an increase uh, in people struggling economically with debt. Um, they, a lot of our clientele since the welfare reform, a lot of our clientele have been people who have been changed over from one benefit to another and they've ended up on universal credit. And of course, they, they are expected by government to live without any money. Uh, for five weeks while their new benefits claim is being processed. Uh, the sad reality is most of us wouldn't have enough funds to keep ourselves going for five or six weeks anyway. Research by Safe Food and the Food Standards Agency has established the contents and cost of a basket of food based on four different household types in Northern Ireland. To achieve what is deemed an adequate diet and calculated this minimum essential food basket's cost as a proportion of take-home income. To stress, the basket contents are what would be needed as a bare minimum to meet the nutritional and socially acceptable needs of the family members in these household types. The contents of the food basket were based on meal plans devised by ordinary people who met as focus groups in three locations in Northern Ireland. They needed to reflect what participants felt every person in society ought to be able to access regardless of their income and be realistic in terms of people's eating habits, preferences and treats. The meal plans also had to reflect the eat well plate, providing a healthy and nutritious balance of different food groups. Based on data in 2020, the minimum essential food basket for one of these household types, one with two parents, one primary school child and one child of secondary school age, would cost £162 per week, up 1.5% from 2018. If both parents were unemployed and in receipt of benefits, this would account for almost half of their weekly income. So financially, um, we are struggling. Um, my husband has been furloughed, as I said, and we are down about £400 a month. And that in itself um, has been a massive, massive drop in our family. We are a large family. We're bigger than, than most out there. You know, you still have to pay your mortgage. You still have to pay for your heat and lighting in your home. And what we found was that food was the thing that we had to change. We had to budget big time more than we ever did. We've always, you know, we're one of these families, we've never been really wealthy. We have always struggled, but we've always got by. But now we're struggling that way, but more where we've had to change our debt. And we are going down the line of um, consuming more um, 
processed foods, which I, I really don't like, but look, that's the way we just had to adapt our lives. Um, I found myself um, cooking batch um, amounts of things and trying to freeze it. So when uh, our monthly wage came in and I knew that we, you know, money was okay and we could do it, I would buy a lot of meat and poultry and make dishes out of that. So they knew that there was, during the month, that there was always a good meal going to be made. And during the, the month then, whenever you find that money was getting uh, more sparse, then that's when we changed to more convenience foods. I think the Northern Ireland consumer and the Northern Ireland householder has many concerns to grapple with just now. I mean, we're in the middle of a pandemic and that has had implications for our income status, for our employment status and for our levels of indebtedness. And we have to be really, really mindful of the uh, rising cost of living and the gap that that has demonstrated between the rising cost of living and our income. Uh, cost of living, housing, fuel, food, all of these are increasing um, and yet we haven't got the, the corresponding increase in income. So that's a huge concern. I would say the cost of our food shop's gone up by 10% on a weekly basis. I find that you go into the stores, you can uh, find what deals, what offers they're doing when you're in. Some of them aren't advertised, but if you do get out and you take your even your slots at the minute, you can get out for an hour to get shopping. If you have a favourite store, for sure, there's, there's deals and offers on, you do need to look. <laughs> the, the old famous ones, you buy uh, one tin of beans for a pound, yet you can buy a four pack for a pound. That's sometimes the small things there as well that I find even looking, where I was just maybe buying, not maybe so much quantity, I found buying quantity as well it helped, but again, it all related to having the shop around where yeah, there was no point in paying a pound fifty for the same packet of beans I could get for a pound somewhere else. Well, there's a lot of pressure when you get the end of month as parent. You know, your kids worrying about your kids, how they're going to eat. You don't necessarily worry maybe so much about yourself because you don't really feel as important. You've, you've got a family to provide for first, they're the ones that come first. But absolutely, those circumstances and that where you, you go through that and you know that the last few days, they end them up for a struggle. It's, sometimes it feels like a celebration to get to the end. That, that's the truth.